What's up guys, I'm Noah from Theme Park Fun, and I'm at Ace Nine at Scary Farm again. You're number two. We're out here by Ghost Rider, getting some cool views. There goes into the flat helix. But we're doing the behind the scenes mazes right now. Behind the scenes tour of the mazes. So we're gonna go through Waxworks and the Depths, which are two amazing mazes from what I know. I haven't been through Waxworks yet, but I guess we're gonna go through that right now. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of detail. Oh, this is probably going to be a drop panel. Yeah, yeah what does that button do? Yeah, so like any good black. Does the red button do something? This is cool. I'm not going to push it. Will you push it? Well, I don't think it's going to work now. But if you yeah. push it, it will when you're in the maze, yeah. Something scary up here, right? Something. Ooh, hands. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's on the, the detail. The wax. Some chains, plastic. Look, in this room there's another red button. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's not, he doesn't look so good. Oh, look like at that. He had a tough time with the caramel apple. Yeah. <laughs> This is neat. There's a whole head right there. And we got House of Horrors. What does it say? House of Horrors? It's supposed to, it looks like, huh? It looks like it's supposed to say House of Four. And then we Four got house. this hallway right here. Oh, oh that's metal. Yeah. Steel. That's neat. Don't drop your phone. Oh, sick! That is really cool. Oh. This is gonna be cool at night when it's all lit up. Uh, yeah, okay. Are they sharp? No, not sharp. Oh, guillotine. Oh, this is what An electric chair. That's cool. This is neat. Oh look, beehive. All of these masterpieces are. I wonder if it'll smell in here at night. Little pump honey sensor. The curator actually goes around, or he's got this henchman goes around and feeds these characters to make sure that they stay alive, but just alive enough that they bored. Uh, yeah. I was watching when we were at Universal. Mhm. Mm I was watching from. This room's very cool. Paying attention to every detail, such as like the floors and stuff. It's pretty neat. And I think I heard earlier they said that there's gonna be water or something over there. I think. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be water right there, and then it'll drip down or something. Not sure. I will meld you in my image. This is a big maze. Yeah. It looks like there will be someone in here. And, oh, he's kind of big. Maybe more people. We got this. This, there's a little exit. Oh, I think we're done. Oh, that's cool. Oh, got stuff touching me. Oh, snap. Alrighty, yeah, that was waxwork. So now we're walking over to the depths. Paranormal's over there. That's a really good maze. Yeah. But I saw someone do a walkthrough of this, and there's a new. Oh, shoot. Get my foot stuck. But there's a new section in here where you like go in an elevator and go down. So it looks really cool. Because I don't think that uh, we would have a very friendly maze here in Nashville.
I could be wrong, but I think something wacky is going on. So what is going on in these mines underneath the town of Nightwatch? Now, there's a few things that I'd like to point out about this maze. Uh, as Eric probably pointed out, or mentioned at the last maze, this maze is entirely constructed and built by our crews here at Nosferry Farm. See, that's the room I was talking about. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What's the electric eel? So what they would do? This is a cool maze. <laughs> this is cool. It's tilted. It's like kind of trippy because it's sideways. Like the floor elevated a little bit. Not elevated, but it's at an angle. This is that one room where they have like the lasers that are like flat and it looks like water. It's pretty cool. Here's one of the lasers right here, I'm pretty sure actually. Yeah, that's a laser. Yeah. So it'll make that effect that looks like you're in water. Here's one of the fog machines. I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. Really cool set design. Lasers are everywhere. Yeah. Scrumptious. That's cool though. Which haunt is uh, Austin working It's the Kraken. What the Kraken? The Kraken's a scene. Oh. Kraken's also a roller coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. Shark. Ooh, it's gonna move up. Like at night. I think we're done. Yep. Alright, we're gonna go to the buffet now. Alright, so we're at the buffet. I got some chicken. Sorry, it's like half eaten, but like, there's monsters and stuff. It's pretty neat. They just like walk around. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah, also, they got the chicken wings from the Boysenberry Festival. They got it, and then they got the boysenberry barbecue sauce on the side. So good. And then you get a souvenir cup. So, that's a plus. Hello. <laughs> What's up? Pretty good. How about you? You know we got more than just chicken, right? No way. Yeah. What else you got? We got like 37 options. 37? I don't know. I can't count. Oh, okay. You like chicken? It's okay. Too many bones. You see, he knows there's more than just chicken. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll get something else. We'll get, we'll get some actual meat. Okay, okay. <laughs> You guys, we're going on Ghost Rider right now. Yeah, it's open, so maybe get a Zen ride, I guess. We just got off of a walk on Ghost Rider. It was amazing. We almost got a Zen ride, but they like left the gates open for five minutes. But that thing's so good, and I can't wait to ride it maybe one more time later at night. So we're just waiting here at this gate for the mazes to open, the four that are back here, and then we'll go through those. Maze number one, the Depths. This was a good maze last year, so hoping that it's going to be just as good this year. First people in the depths. Oh, there's stuff touching me. Oh, see this part? 
This is so cool. Oh, see, there's someone right there. You can't see anything, bro. It's like you're in water. There's someone. Done dark and they're not dark entities. That was the depths. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I like the water part where it's like you're walking in like waist deep water, and then like there'll be a scare actor under it, and then like they'll jump up, and it's really cool. What do you think about it? That was pretty cool. I, I, I like the water part too. Mm -hmm. where the creatures pop up. That's really good illusion. Yep, very cool. <laughs> yeah. So we're on to dark entities now. Let's do it. All right. All volunteers must submit to decontamination. Please proceed to submit to Every year, it's just so good. What'd you think about that one? That was fun, man. That was fun. That one, I like that better than the depths. Yeah, personally. Really? Yeah, that was pretty good. They had more jump scares. Yeah, that more was good. Scares. Now into Paranormal Inc., which is an amazing maze every year, as you guys probably know. So if she needs to get stuck, you can. Experimental ghost pod is going to take us into the spirit realm. However, I need your help getting there. You guys willing to help me? Yeah. That was good. Time for this. Come on, Barry. Screw this. Such a cool pre-show.
towards the line. Usually there's someone there. I love that maze just as always. <laughs> like that one? That, that was funny. That last thing. Yeah, that last what thing, that thing. I don't know, but it came out far. It almost hit me. <laughs> that was good. I, I always love that maze. It wasn't scary, but it was fun. That yeah, was it wasn't. It was yeah, fun, though. It was, it was fun. All right. Well, Paranormal was amazing as always. Not, not too scary, but just overall a perfect maze. Not perfect, but a great one so we're going into waxworks from the looks of it it looks like it'll be a good maze if they do it correctly and they have all the scare actors in there so let's hope that it's a good maze because i've heard good things about this one so i'm excited sure you steer clear of our dungeon or oh, yeah, you might right. be the right. next right. one on the round here we go waxworks <laughs> the smell of fog uh huh. That's a person. Abraham Lincoln. So far, so good. Not too many scares though, that's the thing. Oh, there's one. Didn't get me though. That looks cool. He's invisible. The guillotine going up. Up. Oh, is it gonna go down? Alright, that was kinda cool, I guess. Fire! Are your eye dances over its surface? Exquisite. Oh yeah. Wouldn't you agree? by water, air. That was good. That was good. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Wax Museum much better in the dark than it is. <laughs> yeah, Wax is a lot better in the dark than the light. All right. Ghost Town Streets. Let's do it. Oh, uh, here we go. I don't know if we're going to do Origins or if we're going to do Infected first. Not sure. This is always a cool scare zone. There's just so much fog in it, and this is only the beginning of the night. All right, we're doing infected special ops right now, which last year was really fun. It's not really scary, but it's just fun because you get to like shoot the zombies or whatever, so it's really interactive. I have one request. Slide it all the way down. Like really, pack it in like sardines. Don't tell anyone I ate the last one. <laughs> I, get, right. I get killed. You guys are all here to kill zombies, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, how do you kill zombies? Shoot them in the head. Shoot them in the head. Yes, I'm in the demo. Take five I keep forgetting to shoot. No steady, no steady. Move it up, move it up. Cross the bridge, go, go. So we 
just got out of infected special ops and that is the best haunt ever. You get to shoot <laughs> zombies in the head. I killed 36. Now we're going in Origins. I have high, high expectations for this one. So, let's give it a try, but little review first on Infected. Good maze, very interactive, very high pace, and very fun. It says Origins the Curse of Calico up there. I'm really excited for this one. Excited. Sarah Marshall. Oh, this is cool. There's, it's like rainy. That's amazing. I forgot the catawampus was in here. Cooking up some stew with the boys. Oh, these guys are. Oh. I am your I am my. That's a cool room. It smells. Oh, and that's it. That was good. That was really long. What'd you think of that one? That was fun, man. That yeah. was cool. I like the uh, the witches that fly. Yeah, there's that witch that went in circles. So that was cool. Uh, really long, mate. That one was long. That was a long maze. That was really good, man. That was tight. But yeah. not as good as paranormal commando zombie shoot em up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, I don't know what we're doing now. Maybe Shadowlands? Who knows? Shadowlands, Dark Ride, both great mazes. So we'll figure it out. Currently in the Carnival scare zone. Carnival. Carnival. Yeah, that's a clown. Got hang time going. Probably gonna go on hang time. Oh, I thought I was being followed. I don't even know. <laughs> Bruh. He wants to see. Oh, what's up? Okay. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go on hang time, I guess. We're walking up to Shadowlands. It is sadly the last year of this maze as it will be leaving next year and it will not be returning. I know, so sad. So let's give it a go and go through it one last time. Shadowlands. Sorry it's so loud, but I couldn't really feel much in there because it's just so loud. Uh, going to Pumpkin Eater now. My friend Austin works in there. He's the guy that you saw in the Disney vlog and from last year, Ace Night at Scary Farm, so we'll go in there right now. Inside the hollow scare zone, which is always pretty cool. It has those things. Oh, Monty. But it's like red, kind of an eerie vibe. Some fog. 
Slider. It looks like the, the lion from the buzz. <laughs> the lion from the Wizard of Oz. It's like the scary. That's cool looking, dude. Nice. Pumpkin eater. In good time. <laughs> Slow. Oh, it's like moving back and forth. It's kind of cool. I'm getting hit by stuff. Oh, we're gonna find Austin soon. What do you think about pumpkin eater? Pumpkin eater was okay, but you don't get to shoot anything, so therefore, it sucked. He likes pumpkin eater, but not because you don't get to shoot anything. His favorite one is obviously Special Ops Infected, if you cannot tell. We're in the Forsaken Lake scare zone. So far, not that good. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? Maybe it'll get better. There is someone. Time for Dark Raid, which was really good last year, so I'm looking forward to it because they usually do really good with it. I need them to release the soundtrack to this thing. We just got done with Dark Ride. I really like Dark Ride. Like the set design is really good in there. And I actually got one jump scare that was like really good. So now we're going on Supreme Scream. Try to like see the fog or something from up high. I don't know. Just get up top view, see what it looks like. And because it's a fun ride. So yeah, Supreme Scream. All right, so we got off of Supreme Scream. So now I think we're gonna go do the four mazes by Ghost Rider again because those are really good. Ghost Town Streets is such a cool scare zone. It's just foggy, dark. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you could get good scares in here too. Like, if it really fills up with fog. Look at that. So much fog. Well, not right now, but it's spreading out. All right, we're gonna go through paranormal again. First, well, we're gonna start off with going through. Yeah, the fast pass is over here. We're gonna start off with going through paranormal again because paranormal's good. Everything back here is really good this year. I'm glad. Okay, you guys. So I'm not gonna film inside because I already filmed inside all the mazes. So I will see you guys when we're out. All right, we're doing waxworks again. Paranormal was good uh, as always. I mean, it doesn't really blow you away, but like, I guess the set design and just overall, it's really good. Not really many scares though. That's my only complaint. Yo, as we're walking through Waxworks, there's this guy like in front of me, like three people ahead, and he looks exactly like Drake Bell, bro. I swear it's him, bro. I don't know if I said, but we got out of Waxworks, and then I went on Ghost Rider in the back row. They turned the lights off, like on the side, the orange lights. So it's crazy. That was one of the best rides I've ever had on it. Like, you're flying through the structure at night, no lights. It's really something else. It's so good. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do right now. Maybe infected or something along that. And then I think we're going to get out of here pretty soon. Walking through Ghost Town streets again. It's way more foggy right now. Like, it's insane. This is what it should be like all the time. It's so foggy. Wow, bro. I I'm literally gone. I disappeared. I'm scared I'm gonna hit someone. Oh, here we go. Here's a monster. Oh, 
All right, let's go do, we're gonna do uh, Infected Special Ops, and then we're gonna go do Chris Calico. Heading into Origins first. Go through Origins, because it's so good, and it has freaking catawampus, bro. I like that maze. It's just really well done. Not really scary, but solid maze. Ending the night off with Infected, so should be good because this is fun how you get to shoot him and stuff it's really interactive special ops infected is always very fun still your favorite yeah yeah still my favorite didn't kill as many zombies that time yeah I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> disappointed but we're on our way out now we're uh all done there's sliders everywhere walking around so yeah, that'll do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. What's up? <laughs>